We will now open up open nominations for the leadership positions of the Senate Majority of the 70th General Assembly. First will be the office of President of the Senate. I recognize myself for the purpose of placing into nomination Senator Bill Cadman to serve as President of the Colorado State Senate. Senator Cadman, it is a distinct honor to make this nomination. You and I have known each other for a number of years and I have seen you operate um, in, in, in many different contexts. I've seen you dream, strategize, and work tirelessly for this day. I've seen you give literally hundreds of speeches where, where you laid out the strategy that would lead to this day. It's been an honor to work beside you in that effort. I think I've given just as many speeches where I will forever remember the words I send you greetings on behalf of the Republican Senate leader, Bill Cadman. It never meant so many speeches. Um, you are a true servant leader. You've acted tirelessly in the best interests of the people sitting around this table, people in this room, the citizenry of the state of Colorado. You truly desire a better Colorado. You're, good, you're a good man with a great heart. It's been a privilege to call you friend colleague, senator, I look forward to our continuing to work with you and from this day forth it's a privilege to call you Mr. President. Do I have a second? There's a second. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, I move that nominations be closed and Senator Cadman be declared Senate President-elect by acclamation. Somebody cautioned me to tone it down today. Are you ready for this? So, good, good friend of all of ours is in the room. Met her around 14 years ago when I first got here, and she said, you're gonna be the speaker one of these days. Lynn Bartles, you were just a little bit off, but I think this is gonna be better. <laughs> Colleagues, Senator Shuffle, friends and, and Everybody's in the room and anybody that's listening in my family, I'm obviously honored and I'm amazed. And after a campaign cycle that started for me and our entire leadership team and, and some of you folks in the room that work with us and for us and frankly in spite of us, we started two years and four days ago to get here. And I am relieved <laughs> that it's over and the counting of those ballots is finally done. In the role of president, I am here to serve as the leader of our caucus, the leader of our chamber, and as a leader in this institution. And to me, leader means server. Leader means servant. And this role, however, is not exclusive to me. It's yours as well each and every one of you. You're each leaders in our caucus, in the chamber and in this institution as we prepare to serve in the majority, as we prepare to serve in the majority, that's why I just had to say it one more time. Yeah, as we prepare to serve in the majority when we got the big room, <laughs> haven't been in here in eight years. <laughs> We can expect our responsibilities to our colleagues and our constituents to be extraordinarily demanding and I think equally rewarding. But what's unique about the Senate is we do the same amount of work as our colleagues in the House, and I know because I used to serve there. We have the same amount of bills, but just a little more than half the members to do that work. So that means freshmen, freshmen, excuse me, I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> that means freshmen and veterans alike. We have to hit the ground running. Much will be demanded of us, regardless of our experience. I have a little bit of advice for you. 
read the rules, read the rules, read the rules. Ask questions, ask questions, ask questions. Then read the rules again. Our time here is short. The demands are substantial and there is no end to the learning curve. There is no end to the learning curve here, none. President Ray Powers took me into his office one day, which I am really honored will soon be my office. He'd been here over two decades and he said that he learned something new about how it works here every year. I'll tell you what, that was affirmed, confirmed to me last year when I lost an amendment on the budget bill, an amendment that I already had. I've learned something new. That's not going to happen again. <laughs> Work hard at learning public policies and the unique process of this legislature, but work harder at building relationships. Build relationships with each other and your colleagues, our colleagues, across the aisle. Build relationships with our colleagues in the House. Actually, I would skip that till the absolute last thing that you need to do. <laughs> we have to stay focused on what brings us together as a caucus, not what divides us. We have to stay focused on what brings us together with our Democratic colleagues, not what divides us. We do this by building relationships. Not only is it the right thing to do, it is essential for success here. And veterans, you know this. It's essential because the difference between passing and stopping a bill on the committee or on the floor, oftentimes, oftentimes, comes down to something greater than the policy itself. And there are examples of that, but with the press here, I will not share them. <laughs> Sometimes it's just because you reached out to somebody in some other place and they were there for you when you needed their vote and it had nothing to do with the title. Nothing. It happens. Focus on building better relationships that will unify people in this institution to better serve the people who elected us to serve them. Let's stay focused on our common goal and I know we share this with our partners in the House and with our colleagues across the aisle. Let's focus on our common goal of building a better Colorado. President Ronald Reagan said the greatest victories come when people dare to be great, when they summon their spirits to brave the unknown and go forward together to reach a greater good. I think these words are fitting for the beginning of a legislative session in a chamber that is now under new management. We are privileged to go forward together to reach a greater good. We're privileged to do this as a team, as a team. As a team of 18 who are ready to lead, as a team of 18 who are ready to govern, as a team of 18 liberty loving freedom fighters ready to build a better Colorado and I am privileged to be on this team and I am honored to lead it. Thank you. Thank you.